the issue of uh, campaign finances and raising money is an issue. Uh, I think it's a real important issue. The, the system is set up in a way that in order to run for judge, you've got to raise money. You know, I, I could sit here and talk about, and if you want me to, I will, my thoughts on, on, on the system, and I'm getting to know it pretty well because I'm around now, you know, and I've been campaigning since uh, we announced in February, so now I'm getting a pretty good handle on what you have to do to run for judge. But I think that the, um, you have to raise money if you want to get out the word and you want to get your experience out. That's the, you can't be everywhere. There were three things last night I could only make one of them. And uh, so I am going to be accepting money. I made a decision to accept money from attorneys. Um, I think that uh, I'm an attorney. I think I should have the same rights as anyone else to, to give money. I understand those who have taken a different position on that, and I respect their position. But the long and short of it is, if someone gives you money, and that's going to affect the way that you're going to handle a case, or it's going to affect your impartiality, you really shouldn't be running for this job. You either are ethical or you aren't. You can't say, I'm going to run for judge, and I'm going to become ethical, or I am ethical today. It's how you built your whole life. It's your reputation. and. Uh, and I'm basing my entire uh, campaign on that. Take a look, get to know me, talk to people, talk to as many people as you can about me, uh, look at my experience, have I done the things that you want to see me do to be prepared for being a judge? Am I old enough to be a judge? Do I have the temperament for it? I'm told I do, but somebody else has a better judgment of that. Uh, so that's, that's really my position on, on, I think we have a recusal system. Uh, and if people, oh, the one thing I do think would be important, and I, and I have thought about this a lot because mm -hmm. of it, we're in there for 10 years. I don't know who I've given you know, money to in the last 10 years, I've probably given $100 here and there or more, but there's, there ought to be an easier way to, to check that out for people if they want to. I mean, maybe we should keep an open ledger in the court administrator or, or have it online all the time uh, or keep it right in the, in the uh, judge's chamber, so if a lawyer wants to come in in five years and see who donated to him five years ago, make it easy. Because I know we file in Harrisburg, but I just don't know who goes to check. I wouldn't, I haven't gone to check. But when someone, when a lawyer gives me money or when a friend gives me money, I don't see it as that they're asking me for something. I see it as a vote of confidence. Uh, Bruce Rosenthal over at Rosen, Jenkins and Greenwald recently gave me money and then invited me to go out to a meet and greet. Well, that's a vote of confidence from a guy who I consider to be an expert in, in corporate law. I think he's a brilliant man. So I, I, I see it as a positive.